Today we're going to make a mobile clamp rack. Let's build that. Started out by cutting two 30 inch 2x4s. I measured in two inches on the 2x4 and attached a 16 by 30 inch sheet of plywood. I would have rather have done a 20 inch by 30 inch but this was a scrap so recessing it in that extra two inches gave me the total width of 20 inches with the piece of wood I had on hand. I then cut four 2x4 legs at 42 inches. Then I cut a 10 degree angle on one end of each leg. This is to make an A-frame on the end of my base. The 2x4 was a little bit wide so I ripped it down to an inch wide for each leg. I then cut my clamp holders out of some 3 quarter inch stock. I cut 6 boards at 30 and a half inches. I then had to map out where I wanted my clamps to go. So I have a few clamps on hand so I measured to how I would fit those clamps on the rack and then I kind of guesstimated on some future clamps I'd be picking up. So I just ended up doing two inches space on the top and then from the top board I measured out 12 inch inside, 16 inch inside and 32 inch inside and that seemed to work for most of my clamps and then I decided to add another two inch gap near the bottom so I could fit some more little four and six inch clamps. I then transferred those measurements over to two sets of the legs that way I can cut some dado slots when I put these legs together I made sure that the 10 degree angle was facing each other so that it made a point. Then I checked my depth to make sure it was at a quarter inch and I cut a dado for each one of my crossbars. I used a chisel to clean out any of the dados that I didn't get. I don't have a dado blade and I couldn't use it with my cross cut. Now it was time to figure out the distance between the clamps. My largest clamps seem to have a quarter inch bar, about an inch and a quarter head, and they sat about an inch apart. So I went with an inch in between and I chose about a 3 8 slot for my bar to make sure that they would fit. So I just put some painters tape down on my cross cut sled so I can mark out where my clamp bars would go. I put the first one at a 3 8 inch and then I measured out a 1 inch gap. So then I could line up, cut my first slot, line it up with the second mark, make my 3 8 dado and then line that up with my 1 inch mark and that would give me my spacing and I just did this all the way down the line until the whole board was filled out. I didn't end up measuring I just kept going down the line. Once those were cut I could put some glue in my dado slots and put these all together. These were a little bit shorter than the side so I made sure that the front was facing down and then I just glued and used some crown staples to tack them all together. One thing that's important is to make sure that when you're putting these in you orient them the way you cut them so if your cuts are a little bit off your lines won't be skewed and your clamps won't be going sideways. Once that's all glued up it should look something like this. I probably could have got away with cutting another groove on the far right side, but that's okay. Now I can attach this with the angled side down to the base. I just used some 2 inch screws to anchor one side. 
once this side was up I used the two remaining legs to create an A-frame. I then attached the top together with these gussets I made out of three-quarter ply. These are just the same 10 degree angle with a 7 inch top. Now it's time to do some wheels for this to make it mobile. I didn't have any bolt-on casters so I cut these hardwood plywood 3x3 three three squares to create uh, caster bases. I then found a drill bit that matched the size of my caster a little bit smaller and I drilled a hole in the center of these 3x3 three three block. I then took a tap that was the same size and thread pitch as my caster and I used my drill to thread these bases. I could then screw my caster into that and use these to anchor to the box to create these casters. I wouldn't have had to do this if I just bought bolt-ons but I found these in the dumpster so I figured I could use them. I then attached these four casters to the bottom and I could also change them out if I needed to. Now it's time to set up all the clamps. I don't have that many but I do plan on expanding on my collection as I keep going. So this clamp rack gives me plenty of expandable storage. It's just a matter of figuring out where I can put them and organize them the way I like them. So I ended up moving these ones down and the different styles I set up will allow me some variation. I also decided to put my little squeeze clamps and uh, my glue and maybe some stains and stuff and I left the back open because I might add some more shelves or maybe I'll add some more racks for more clamps or who knows maybe some pipe clamps in the future or some other tools type storage so I hope you like this project I hope you follow it along if you did like it feel free to give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with your friends if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel, you and I DIY. I try and post there every Wednesday. So, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys on the next project.